It's an early autumn morning in Wenchuan, a town which lies among the western hills just outside of Beijing. Wang Xiaoli, mother of two, has begun her day in the kitchen. Meanwhile, on the far side of the capital, her husband, Li Yongchang, has already left for work. Two years ago, Wang Xiaoli decided to move her family here from the eastern part of the city. She wanted to do this for the sake of their son's education. Wang Xiaoli and Dong Jun perform the same ritual every morning in front of the image of Confucius. She herself studied the Guoxue as a child. Guoxue is loosely defined as all knowledge accumulated by China. And the core of Guoxue is, undisputedly, Confucianism. Xiaoli holds that honoring and learning from Confucius, the greatest educator in the history of China, will set Dong Jun firmly on the path to becoming virtuous and cultivated. Night is falling. Li Yongchang has finished work for the day. To avoid the worst of the traffic, he parked his car at the local underground station and took the train to work in the morning. Commuting like this is the quickest way to get to work and back, and it means he has some time to spend with his children before they go to bed. The family moved all the way across the capital so that Dong Jun could attend the Beijing Sihai Confucius Academy. It's a short five-minute walk for him and his mother to school every morning. They spend the time with fun contests involving quotations from the Guoxue, Beijing Sihai Confucius Academy is a privately run institution dedicated to providing its students with a Confucian education. Feng Zhe is the dean of the academy. He's a firm believer in traditional Chinese approaches to early childhood education. Jiaqing教育里边从小会注重这个问题,就是说你要考虑你吃的这顿饭是有很多人的辛苦,很多人的付出。
。这三岁以前，他基本上都是以生活教育，生活教育就以养成教育，而养成教育里面很重要的是什么呢？要从事习劳。中国人讲这个天生地养。哎，就勤耕与读，来培养我们中国人的这种天地情怀。哇，叫，叫老师，等一，一、二、三、四，这四都是我拿的。爸爸可能要直接出出差到。李永强 is now convinced that his daily commute is worth it for the sake of his son's education. Today, he's leaving very early for a business trip outside Beijing. Before he sets off, he talks with his son, encouraging him to take traditional Chinese medicine classes. Master, why do we need to study Chinese medicine? Ah, eh, the ancient saying, "Who can study Chinese medicine? 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 But one day, Wang Xiaoli believes he'll appreciate that a key part of Confucian teaching is the importance of achieving internal balance in the body. Once individuals attain this balance, a sense of harmony will spread throughout society. These three points are on the same line. Chinese and Confucian are not separate. Chinese is a part of the body. Because Chinese is a part of the body. In the ancient times, it was a disease. 所以他就是学中医，首先他自己能把自己的身体能照顾好。Since it's such a significant part of the larger healing system of traditional Chinese medicine, teacher Li Yuan believes it's very important for children to learn something about Chinese herbal medicine. Herbs are believed to benefit the health by restoring the balance between the opposing forces of energy. The yin and the yang, which run through invisible channels in the body. Different herbs have different properties for balancing particular parts of the body. And on this field trip to Beijing's botanical garden of medicinal plants, he chooses ajuratum as an example. Because it's full of flowers. What flower is it? I think it's lavender. You can smell the smell. Smell the smell. Smell the smell. 香吗？叶薄荷味，有点薄荷味。啊，有点薄荷味道。李元 is convinced that touching and smelling the herbs is more effective in understanding them than studying a medical textbook. Wang Chao is a close friend and former neighbor of Xiao Li's. Their sons studied the Guo Xue together before Dong Jun moved to the Sihai Confucius Academy. 家庭教育最主要就是父母的以身作则。哎，我们俩觉得一直有一个共识，就是你想让孩子成为什么样的人，拥有什么样的品质，首先你你就得大人就得成为这样的人，拥有这样的品质才可以。反正我觉得你们这个路子挺挺正的，孩子的根性正嘛。For Wang Xiaoli, giving Dong Jun the right start in life is her duty. With the moral integrity cultivated through studying the Guo Xue as his foundation. Dong Jun will be prepared for whatever career he may choose. 普通家庭来说，我觉得对于一个孩子的就是德行的培养是最重要的，因为只有你的德行好了，你这个才能一代一代的传承下去。何处秋风至，萧萧送雁群。朝来入庭树，孤客醉先闻。
the foot of Mount Siyan in the northeast of Guangdong province is an area that is perfectly suited for growing tea. This is Dabu County and the family home of Wei Dingguo, founder of the Siyan Tea Group Company. Ngaisa. 带带着孩子们回来看一看。The son of an ordinary tea grower, Wei Dingguo, in the 1980s, undertook responsibility for a state-owned tea plantation which was at the time on the verge of bankruptcy. Years later, his shrewd entrepreneurship has made him very successful. Thank Zhongjie is Wei Dingguo's son. He shares his father's deep affection for the tea mountains. Despite the temptation to remain abroad, where he studied in the United States, he instead returned home to help his father. Now, this member of the 90s generation has taken over the family business. 实际上我从国外回来之后是遇到了很多企业的接班人会遇到的一个问题那一开始我们也有一些不同的看法要应付的一个是比较大的节日那个它是通过颜色去分辨茶叶的不同的那些部分的，像比如说是一些老梗啊、跟黄叶啊，它可以通过颜色去把它区分开来，是我们初选的一个过程。这一台机械的话，是可以大约当八十个工人的劳动力
Huang Qiaolin's whole world has been focused on her family. She stood beside her husband when everyone else questioned why he was getting involved in a near-bankrupt tea factory. And when Zhong Jie faced opposition to his reforms after taking over the business, Qiu Lin repeatedly urged him to stick to his beliefs. The Wei family business is now a leading agricultural enterprise in Guangdong province. Every now and then, Wei Dingguo takes his family from central Dabu, where they live, to his old home among the mountains, where his mother still lives, in a typical newly renovated hacker roundhouse. Whenever Ding Guo visits his mother, he makes a point of rolling up his sleeves and pitching in with the household duties. The elderly lady is 76 and together they always talk about the old days, the difficulties of raising five Wei children, and, by contrast, how blessed they feel in their lives today. The family are planning a reunion dinner. Wei Dingguo is thankful that all those years ago he made a decision that has created the comfortable life they're enjoying today. The Wei family are never happier than at times like this, when four generations gather under one roof. While Ding Guo is confident that his son Zhong Jie will prove successful in running the family business, he also believes that it's even more important that he passes the family legacy down to future generations. Since his retirement, 71-year-old Zhang Dadian has been spending much of his time at the Zhang family's ancestral temple. Zhang Dading's hobby is updating the Zhang family genealogy. Over the centuries, family genealogies can be lost or dispersed. 
A major challenge for a genealogist is to locate the original records. For Zhang Dading, it is always a pleasure to gather the local children at the Zhang Ancestral Temple. There, he tells them about the discovery of the original 28 copies of the Zhang's family genealogy and how and why they've been updated. He loves to encourage the children to recite the family instructions, especially now that he has updated them in a form they can more easily follow. Rules and instructions are a key element in Chinese written genealogies. They lay out standards of behavior for the family members. Mr. Zhang is a firm believer in adjusting the instructions to keep them relevant. <笑><笑>那不一定呢什么叫老师啊传道术业解惑你只要能够做到这一点啊就是我的老师他们这个小孩呢他们从来没有接触过传统文化他们对这个也感到很兴趣这个是第三层那首先要看这上面你们家是四
Their common ancestry is a powerful unifying force, as is their shared pride in notable family members, past and present. An event like the Zhang family reunion is a chance for reflection and celebration. For Zhang Dading and the rest of the extended family, their ancestral temple is the focal point of their common identity. Now, with the family meal over, he's feeling a little melancholy. The reunion meant a lot to him. He wonders when the next one might be held. For the time being, however, he's got a lot on his mind. Zhang Dading's work on his own family's genealogy has been noted. He's been recently approached by other families in the area who want him to help update their records. Zhang Dading can go on talking about genealogies all day long. He'll need all of his enthusiasm since the Tang's family records have not been updated for over a hundred years. He shows the Tang's a draft of the genealogy he's compiling for the Xu family. He tells them that changes will have to be made in the update. A Chinese genealogy is much more than a family tree. It comprises biographies of important family members and details of key historical events. There are also the instructions, the rules of proper behavior expected of the family. All this will have to be updated to make the genealogy more relevant for the modern generation. Bao 